Corporal punishment is forbidden in correctional facilities, mental institutions, and in the United States Armed Forces, but not in many public schools. A growing controversy surrounding corporal punishment in schools. Teachers are permitted to hit their students. Like bruising and broken blood vessels after being paddled in school. And where would you draw the line? Strike one of his players on the backside with a heavy leather belt. Meaning employees of the school of the state the right to spank your kids. I, that is a parental decision. Even some students have rallied in favor of corporal punishment. Spare the rod and spoil the students. Supporters argue its roots go back to biblical times. He comes by and see, to see us every week to thank us for what we did for him. That's only one situation. I'm not saying it works for everybody. Over 200,000 students across the United States are hit by their educators every year. We didn't believe it at first. We thought, no, this, is, this can't be happening, right? There were also photos of children that had been beaten, and I, and I do mean that beaten. If it had been the exact same situation, except a parent versus a teacher, the parent would have charged with a felony. A child would have to be halfway dead in order for you to really get outside of the immunity that teachers have. Guess what happened to me in school today? I spent six or seven hours handcuffed to a pole for coming in without a belt. It's basically because school administrators are very threatened by young black boys and there's this perception that black boys are, are dangerous. Our religion right. drives just about everything we do in our state. Of course I believe in the Bible and I believe in God's word and it says if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Teachers become frustrated. They're ill-equipped to deal with some of the behavior, serious behavior problems. Okay, well what are we gonna do? You know, time out doesn't mean a thing. Um, this is what uh, a lot of our children were raised on. Modeling is imitating what the child experiences. They hit you and you feel all their pain. You don't want to feel all of that pain compacted into one hit. And we're the only industrialized country on earth where it's still legal in our school systems. An educator can hit a student and it's called discipline. The fact that the United States allows students to be paddled in 19 states is really out of step with where the rest of the world is going. You know, what you do in your home is certainly a privacy issue between that. I'm looking at what's being done in my public schools.